Now, do you feel a constant need to reach out and touch someone? Are you bothered by the thought of being away from the telephone at any time of day? Well, if that's the case, Ned Potter can teach you how to spell relief. This is the newest kind of office in America, and this is the telephone which will ring in it. Hi, Betty. This is Dave Milan as John around. Dave Milan is among the first commercial users of a cellular mobile phone. He's an insurance agent, and being in touch is important to him. I'm in my car possibly two to three hours a day. So I save that time it's, it's as if I'm in the office. But the breakthrough of cellular phones is that Dave Milan can call from his car while thousands of others do the same. In metropolitan Chicago, an area of seven million people, the old system allowed only 23 mobile calls at once. The radio channels are too full for more. Now, the region is divided among 17 relay stations, called cells, and as Milan makes his way through the suburbs and down the interstate, a central computer automatically switches his call from one cell to the next. The computer can juggle 50,000 calls an hour. Okay, could you have him call me? Do you know what time he'll be back? Milan says he can almost always hear clearly. The phones are expensive, $3,000, but a dozen companies are building them, and they all say the price will drop with technological breakthroughs. I like to say the technology will go from a phone in the car to a phone in the briefcase to finally a phone in your pocket. And this is it. This is a portable cellular phone. You'll be able to take this to any American city and call virtually any place in the world and its maker, Motorola, says a smaller version than this will be on the market next year. Mobility, portability is very critical uh, to our ability to grow and increase the, the, uh, the business that we're about. People will buy it in much the same way that they buy a video recorder, which at one time, not very long ago, was prohibitively expensive. An expert says portable phones may not change us, but they'll speed up the changes that are already happening. We're already a mobile society, and this will make us more so. Ned Potter, CBS News, Chicago.